It's time for business news with Richard Southern. It seems like inflation is impacting everything these days, Richard, even Halloween. Say it ain't so. Candy. Mm. I'm taking this news very hard, Erica. Not good. Candy prices. <laughs> They're going up. Please tell me it's a trick. Uh, candy prices are actually approaching a record high, would you believe it? Uh, candy and chewing gum, 13% more expensive now than it was this time a year ago. Expensive sugar is the reason. Sugar prices have taken flight this year following a drought that's hurt sugar crops. Chocolate has also been hit by other inflationary reasons and hurt by the war in Ukraine as well. Hershey hiked its prices 14% in June. Nestle increased its prices by almost 10% in July and Mars candy hiking prices by 7%. So-called shrinkflation is also hitting the candy market. For example, Hershey's reducing the 18 ounce packs of dark chocolate kisses by two ounces, but of course, keeping the price the same. But we all know that trick, Erica, right, to get the best price on candy, at least for your personal consumption, and it's buy the leftover stuff on November the 1, The next right? day, that's right. That's when you head over to the stores. Okay, <laughs> speaking of costing more, the damage inflicted in Florida by Hurricane Ian continues to mount, Richard. Uh, yeah, it's nature's candy we're talking about here, Erica. Oranges, uh, we, we were worried about this, and we're getting some news in on the orange groves. Uh, they're not in great shape, and Florida is now set to have the smallest orange crop in almost 80 years, and that's even before the full effect of Hurricane Ian is factored in. Uh, the state is expected to produce 28 million boxes of fruit this season. That's down 32% from last year and the lowest harvest since 1943. Consequently, the price for both oranges and orange juice is expected to spike. The futures price for orange juice at its highest since 2016. That will filter through to your grocery store in the coming months. Not just oranges, uh, Erica. Grapefruit production forecasted to drop 40% in Florida as well this year because of the hurricane and all that terrible destruction. Right. Okay, finally, Netflix users will have a new cheaper option next month. But, of course, there's a catch. There's always a catch. You have to sit through commercials. And wasn't oh. that the selling point of Netflix? I think so. So you don't have to have commercials, but here we are. Yeah, okay. here we are. Um, so Netflix says you can have uh, a $5.99 a month subscription if you sit through four to five minutes of commercials before your show or your movie starts. That's a lot of commercials, but it is a cheaper price compared to the $9.99 to $20.99 right. uh, subscriptions. Um, there is a catch, though, Erica. If you opt for the cheaper ad one, you might not get the full Netflix catalog, and you won't have the option to download files for remote viewing. They're doing this, though, Erica, to, to draw in more people. Disney is nipping at Netflix heels, and so they want to attract more customers any way they can. Yeah, well, I mean, and you're watching all those commercials, and you don't get the full Netflix catalog? I don't know. I guess people have to no, wait if you. it's worth it or not. Yeah. Okay. I'm sticking with I'm sticking with City TV. You <laughs> City know TV 24/7. That's it. I don't need no Netflix. <laughs>